we have looked at the forest themes we find to be the best in the series. And now, it's time to look at another natural element we often see in Zelda games. This time, we're gonna climb some mountains. Defining what makes a mountain theme good can be hard, but we think of heavy beats, dark tones and sometimes slow pace. But it's also important for us to consider how the theme matches the atmosphere and environment of each particular mountain they are played at. Just like with the forest themes, we're looking at outdoor areas, not caves, dungeons or anything else like that. We are only looking at the themes played outdoors on mountains. We hope this is clear enough, cause we're ready to kick it off. We're the ones of Triforce, I'm Owner 2. And I'm Owner 1, and here's the 5 mountain themes in the Zelda series we found best. Mountain, volcano, sort of the same thing, isn't it? Elden Volcano is at least the closest we get to a mountain in Skyward Sword. What can we say about this one? Drums, with a slow and sort of heavy rhythm. It does sort of have the things we look for in a mountain theme, but this is not necessarily where its strength lies. We feel this theme fits pretty well to this area in particular. The flowing lava, the caves, the open air, and not to mention the environment of life there is here. We feel it fits with the enemies, but also along with the race that inhabit this land, the Mogmas. It's a fine mountain theme and a fine theme for Elden Volcano. Ah, Minish Cap. What an underrated soundtrack you have. This music feels heavy and mighty, which is very fitting for a mountain. This one's also pretty slow and fits well with the actual mountain. It even feels heroic as we climb upwards Mount Crenel, with some light and higher tones playing along. All in all, it's a very enjoyable piece of music and a good fit for a mountain.
Death Mountain has appeared as different versions in several games, and Gorons have usually found themselves to live in some of them, or at least in rocky and mountainous areas. Twilight Princess is no different, and the Death Mountain theme there is a great fit for its area. It's good in both ways, it's good as a mountain theme because of the drum beats and the use of what we think is a tuba. Correct us if I'm wrong. But even better is that this is the new version of the Goron City theme from Ocarina of Time, which now sounds a bit tougher and heavier. Which really makes this a great fit for both the mountain and the home of the Gorons here in Death Mountain in Twilight Princess. This one differs a lot from the other mountain themes. It doesn't feel heavy with hard beats at all. However, that works to the advantage of this place and the name of the theme. This isn't an area where you find yourself surrounded by mountain walls all around, but rather has you reaching high peaks of it, or should we say, the heights of the mountain. Tall Tall Heights gives us that great feeling of reaching the top of an area. It does a great job making us feel like we're high, high up in the air, almost reaching the sky, and it definitely helps us get a good feeling when we can see the ocean in the background. We have Death Mountain in Twilight Princess that felt much more of a Goron mountain, but then there's this one in A Link to the Past. If there is one mountain theme that feels very powerful and almost to the point of dominating, it's the Death Mountain theme from this game. It shares its theme with the Skeleton Forest, but it's named after the mountain, and we definitely see the amazing fit there. We also like the little lighter part of it which sorta of gives us the courage to keep moving on. This one fits so well with the Dark World version of the mountain because of all the darkness and evil surrounding it. In the game, the wind is blowing, hear thunder, and see the light of lightning. And to top it all off, there's Ganon's tower, 
the home of the ultimate evil in the game. And this theme reflects the feeling of the presence of all evil. Which by the way, A Link Between Worlds didn't have on its death mountain. In which our opinion finds the A Link to the Past version to be a fantastic match for death mountain. So that's it for our top 5 mountain themes. Do you agree with our list? No matter if the answer to that is no or yes, we'd love to hear what's on your mind, so leave it in the comments. And of course, throw us a like if you think we deserve it. And why not subscribe? Because our next video is something very special, and an announcement about that will come within the next few days. Thanks for watching, and we really hope to see you then.